It is the start of a new week, the start of a new month, and what better way to celebrate than taking an advanced look at an upcoming omnibus from Marvel. So, please stay tuned. And welcome back everybody. Before getting started, a huge thank you to David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending us an advanced copy of this omnibus. This omnibus is due out in the direct market on March 17th, then a couple of weeks later in the book market. So places like Amazon and Barnes & Noble will get it a couple of weeks after March 17th. So what we're looking at here is Tony Stark Iron Man Omnibus by Dan Slott. This happens to be the direct market cover by Alex Ross. On the left hand side is the standard edition cover by Addy Granoff. So that one will be available everywhere, whereas the one here on the right is only available through the direct market. So let's take a closer look at it. So here we have this image from Alex Ross. Up at the top, you have a blurb from Dan Slott himself. Knowing that 2020 was coming up was probably my biggest reason for wanting to work on the Iron Man franchise. You only get one shot at writing Iron Man in the year 2020. And I'll talk about why that's a big deal here in a little bit. Um, but let's look at the spine. Tony Stark, Iron Man. Then you have all the credits down here. And then you have the Iron Man 2020 armor there. Then the back image. The book retails for $100. Let's look at the image under the dust jacket. So you have this virtual reality image in here from Valerio Chetti, who is the main artist on the book. As a matter of fact, he draws about 90% of the book. Um, let's go ahead and look inside and talk about the story just for a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead, get this open. We have some black bookend pages. Tony Stark, Iron Man. I do have to ask how people are going to put this on their bookshelves. Are you going to uh, put this right next to your other Iron Man omnibus or oversized hardcovers, depending on what you collect? Or are you going to put this in the tees? So here we have what's collected in here, and that is Tony Stark, Iron Man, 1 through 19, and then Iron Man 2020, the six-issue series. That ends Dan Slott's run. And like I mentioned, he is mainly working with Valerio Chetti as the main artist. Uh, he's also joined by Jeremy Whitley, Jim Zub, Gil Simone actually has a couple of issues in here, uh, and of course Christos Gage is his kind of like right hand guy. This is the same team that worked on the Mighty Avengers, but we have Pete Woods joining soon. So here we have the very first issue. In this issue, this cover had like 25 different variant covers, and I'm not exaggerating, with different iron armor, and I'll show you how that's collected in a little bit. So we kick off a brand new era. So when does this take place? Well, this takes place after Invincible Iron Man number 600, which was written by Brian Michael Bendis. So it's at the end of the Brian Michael Bendis run. All those issues of Invincible Iron Man that Brian Michael Bendis had been writing had all led up to the anniversary issue 600 when they renumbered back to the original number of Iron Man to only renumber it again with a brand new series with uh, Tony Stark. So we we have brand new, um, she's not a brand new character, sorry. She's from, the, I think she was first introduced in the pages of Iron Man by David Michelinie and Bob Layton, if I'm not mistaken. But we do have familiar faces returning, like Jocasta plays a bigger role, also part of Mighty Avengers. I love that Slot uses her. Uh, we have Fing Fang Foom return. We have the controller, a couple of other surprise uh, characters from Iron Man's past. And let me show you just some of this awesome artwork here. There we go. So we have James Rhodes, Rhodey, his best friend. We have Andy Bang, who is one of the new characters in this run. Uh, Jocasta Pym. I'll let you figure out why her last name is Pym. Uh, Bethany Cave, that's her name. And Bethany first appeared in Iron Man all the way back then in David Michelinie's run. And this is what the artwork looks like. Very reminiscent to Stuart Eminem, uh, Pepe Larraz, R.B. Silva, that kind of style. And honestly, this is the same artwork that you'll see in the pages of Empire. Because it is the same artist. Here's that image I was talking about. And actually, let's go back because this is how the some of the variant covers are collected. So here we have on the left-hand side some of the variants that are collected for issues number one. And then on the right-hand side, we have the cover to issue number three, the regular cover. But yes, this image is awesome. So this does have uh, some virtual reality aspects to it. Oh, that's right. We also have 
the return of Aaron Stack, Machine Man. We also see the return of Amanda Armstrong, who was uh, first introduced in the pages of Bendis' run, if I'm not mistaken. And she plays a big part in Tony's life. Now, what Dan Slott was talking about in that blurb about being excited about writing Iron Man in 2020 was there was a storyline that started all the way back in 1984 uh, in the pages of actually Aaron Stack's uh, Machine Man comic. We are introduced to this character of Iron Man 2020. And he comes from an alternate reality. And there's this whole Iron Man 2020 uh, one-shot and, and storyline where this character, Arno Stark, is like a distant relative of Tony Stark. And is now donning the Iron Man outfit in the year 2020. Which at the time was, holy crap, way in the future. Crazy how just time catches up with us. And now, it, last year, we had Iron Man 2020. So all of this is leading up to that moment. The character that shows up here, um, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, the Iron Man 2020 that shows up here, that's a big part of the final six issues, is a different take on that character. So don't be confused. Because I was confused at first when I was reading Kieran Gillen's run is when this character first reappeared. And I was like, wait a minute, this is the same guy that appeared all the way back in Machine Man? He's from an alternate reality. No, 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 this is the Earth-616 version of that character. And how he's related to Tony, I will let you find all that out on your own. But it, just keep that in mind, it is a different character, do not be confused. So, there we go, there's the controller. So he's back, and like I said, a few other surprises in here. I'll let you find out what those surprises are when you read this uh, for yourself. What I wanted to mainly show, though, is these beautiful artwork and the vibrant colors that are used in, throughout the pages of this storyline. Oh, and I have to go back to this issue really quick because I love the way that this one's done. You have a... I don't want to spoil how they do this, but there is a flashback sort of issue here. And even the color with the dots... The old school way of coloring comic books makes an appearance. But let's go back here towards the end. So this kicks off Iron Man 2020, which ends Stan Slot's run and it becomes this whole event. As a matter of fact, this was a big event that I don't want to say it crossed over, but it had little mini series. Like it had uh, Force Works, Iron Heart 2020, Wolverine had his own Iron Man 2020 mini series. Uh, but this just collects Iron Man 2020. So, this is a story that mainly focuses on the character that I mentioned earlier, Arno Stark, and him becoming Iron Man 2020. As a matter of fact, this is a throwback to what he looked like in the uh, 1984 series. So, you can figure out for yourself how this all happened and how it all plays out uh, whenever you read the story. And yes, my man Aaron Stack, the Machine Man, is back and he plays an important role ever since I saw him return in the pages of Next Wave. Because, you know, he's been this obscure character. They even tried to make him happen by tying him into the X-Men during that um, X-51 series. But it wasn't until Next Wave that they finally figured out how to use this character. And I love it. Pete Woods, by the way, phenomenal artist, supplied the artwork uh, in Superman. He does all the artwork within the pages of the Iron Man 2020 series. Now, let's look in the back here for some extras. Okay, we're going to be looking at some variant covers here for Iron Man 2020 variants. This is a cool variant right here. So this is what I was talking about. Issue 1 had a, like, uh, I wasn't exaggerating. I want to say 25 or so variants of the different armors. So the same picture of Tony, this one here, and just different armors, like the ones back here. So they then collect the entire picture, just the different armors. And then you have variant cover sketches. And then the Arno Stark timeline, which I'll let you read all that. Uh, the pitch and the script here for Iron Man 2020. If you've seen the Marvel, I can't remember what it was called. It was a documentary. It's very tongue-in-cheek where they're calling Dan Slott like the laziest lighter, uh, writer at Marvel. Uh, I mean, he's just making fun of himself. And uh, he's talking about how late he is with his script. This is the script that he was writing during that episode. Uh, let's see. And that is it. Let's look at the binding really quick. At 576 pages, this is what the binding looks like. Not much of an eye. Not that you really need one, but it is sewn binding. Here's the very first two spread pages. Uh, the other ones are all splash pages, so not really any gutter loss on this one. 
And this is uh, in issue number one. Let's look in the middle. Here's an example from the middle. And then we'll look at the back. It's an awesome picture of the controller there going nuts. And then using one from Iron Man 2020 issue number two. Because I don't want to spoil any of the further spread pages um, in the very back. You could probably tell the book is laying over on its own really nice. Because it's not that many pages. And that's usually what happens when it's got sewn binding and not many pages. Uh, but that, as they say, is that. If you're interested in purchasing this book when it comes out, don't forget to check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online source for collected editions up to 50% off retail price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on excellent packaging, so your stuff gets to you in excellent condition, and they have amazing customer service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And for all you minties that are watching, if you're a first-time customer, don't forget to mention that Near Mint Condition sent you their way for a promotional credit on free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your source for the hottest book, with deep discounts, customer service, and excellent shipping that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content, the page count, and the build of this particular omnibus. Let me know in the comments down below if you're picking this up, if you've never read it, if you're upgrading from your single issues, your trade paperbacks, or if you just love Iron Man and you get every bit of Iron Man that comes out in hardcover format. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave those comments down below if you have any questions. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. More importantly, please everybody stay healthy, stay safe, and much love to all of you.